I read about this rock on that sign back there. Uh-huh. It says that anybody that goes near it is brought death. Like seriously, that's what the sign says. But they built a path, so it's probably fine. Uh-oh. Uh, so there's a typhoon happening right now, and we're going on a trip. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to pan out. Hopefully this typhoon is supposed to be over tomorrow, but right now the weather is sort of a bummer. Going to go hike a mountain tomorrow? <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're inside now, so we can talk a little bit more <laughs> about what's going on. It was like really, really rainy when we walked from our apartment to the train, and then we rode the very short train to get to Ueno Station. It's just a Ginza line, like three or four stops. It doesn't take long to get here. And then we came and we got a special train ticket that saves us like 20 bucks or something like that for the weekend. And it gives us the ability to jump on and off the train all we want. Not that I know that we're going to be doing that very much, but the opportunity is there. Whereas yeah. if we had just paid for a straight shot, we'd be paying more and we'd have less flexibility. So. And basically what's happening is they have a ticket that is for foreigners only that we can use even if we're residents. Usually we can't use JR passes, but I think because of COVID stuff, they're allowing people that are foreigners but not traveling foreigners as in international travel to use these tickets. So we used one when we went to Alamodi a while back and it saved us a whole bunch of money. This time it's not saving us that much, but it's still handy to have. So we just busted up into this little office over here. We picked that up and we got that straight. The next thing we're gonna do is find food. And Katie yesterday decided that sometimes we make videos that are like destination videos where we're going. You want to make a video that is about the experience of the entire trip, right? Yes, I, I wanted to do more um, earlier. Like we were at the apartment and we got packed this morning, which usually we pack the night before and we roll out the door in the morning. But we packed this morning, like I kind of took the day leisurely. I had my toast and um, we just kind of got ready leisurely and now it doesn't feel leisurely. Everything feels like a big crunch yeah. um, because of the rain. The rain just really intensified everything. Uh, so now that we're here, we have decided if it's rainy here and it's rainy in our destination, why not just take it easy <laughs> and we just show what we're actually doing. Like, yeah. Honestly, we planned this trip on Thursday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there was like I just booked a hotel. He has, he wants to go out and be in nature. So we're checking that box off, and that's what's driving us. Other than that, everything is incredibly flexible, which is very much not me. And this all feel, I feel like a fish. It's just oh, is that like, why you're kind of freaking out? <laughs> why is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> Who planned this? Um, so we are Didn't get some food. avoiding the rain as much as possible and yeah. as we were standing here earlier you could hear the rain thundering down and normally in ueno station you hear what you think is a train no it was pounding down rain on the ceiling it was intense so i was happy to be in here and not out there i have a friend who is a vegetarian and they introduced me to vegan ramen so we're gonna go and have some. Hopefully, unless it falls apart. In this unless building. A, don't you don't you never say you're gonna do a thing and promise it because then it will fail. Okay. Something will we happen. Are we're gonna try. To find noodles. <laughs> Tokyo train stations are like sometimes really monolithic and it's like being in a maze. <laughs> And we are in one of those situations right now. Just look at this escalator, by the way. <laughs> look at how big this thing is. And we are trying to go up to the third floor to find yes. a place to eat the ramen joint. A ramen joint that is known for having its locations inside of train stations. Like you have to go inside the train station to eat it. It's very strange. I've never seen a restaurant that all the locations it has locations in train stations and in the airports that's it oh they're in the airport too yeah huh. so really really strange and we're already in here so we might as well take advantage of the fact that we're already in here 
we have arrived. It really wasn't that hard to find. Um, sometimes you can get lost in these stations. That is so wrong. No, we aren't yelling at each other. It didn't get to that uh, yeah, point. Yeah, we did do that once. Okay. That was, and that was to ramen. Ramen Probably. is a serious situation. Yeah. It should be taken strongly, and train, if you can't take just it, then... Train stations, man. You just, you, turn in, you just get lost. You can't see the sky. You don't know which way is left. Like, it's just nuts, there, There's man. probably slot machines somewhere. <laughs> so, we are here, and like Katie had explained, it is a vegan ramen place, and it specializes in tonton men, which is kind of like a spicy type of ramen. Usually it's got, like, peanuts and things like that in it. it peanuts is, and kind of like a milky base to it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like miso. So it's not like shio, it's not like uh, shoyu. It's Honestly, its own little world of flavors it's melding my, together. It's my go-to. Like it when we go to restaurants and I have I'm like, get the and I had it yesterday. I'm over here trying all of these different ramens this year because I made a ramen resolution. And uh, Eric basically, like, I just make sure he can get tauntaun and at the restaurant and then I don't feel like I have to think about it anymore. So here's certainly a good place and on top of that, him probably having a lactose problem, we're in a great place. Vegan might be something that we end up doing more because it's easier. Um, but, it's, yeah. it's way easier or but at least we're going to find out. It's pretty hard to find vegan food in Tokyo. This is this is an exception. This is not mm. usual. And I, the fact that the whole place is a vegan place is I, I can't think of another place. It's like a, aside from little one-off like this, that is like, this is like a chain. You know what yeah, I mean? Like this is multiple a, yeah. locations. I can think of like one other ramen restaurant that has this kind of vegan vibe, mm. vibe but it, it's a one-off. It might have another location, but it's not a chain. Mm. So you got a... Um, white sesame. Yeah, white goma, white sesame ramen. And I got one that is... You said pakuchu. I'm getting the weirdest one on the menu, and yeah. I thought that was very like my style. <laughs> I got... It's pakuchi, which is cilantro, cheese, and tomato based. And yours presentation looks a lot fancier than mine does. Yeah. It looks a lot nicer, but um, we're gonna have to do I a taste off. I also think that ours looked nicer, both of them. Uh, the heat of the soup has wilted what is on top, yeah. so right now what we're looking at doesn't look as good as your B-roll a few minutes ago. We tried to set up the camera so that you guys would be able to see the food, but it's like the, 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 the logistics don't work. There's no place to put the camera. <laughs> So when they when they served it, they told us that you need to mix the miso in. So you mm -hmm. need to have a really good mix with your your tauntaun men to make sure that everything is mixed together. You're going to get a mouthful of like stuff that maybe is one sided when you want all the flavors. And this is I feel like I'm stirring a garden. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing that we have is we've got a few vegan gyoza, which is like a fried dumpling. And we came here fried? before. Fried? No, grilled. It's grilled, yaki, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it could also be fried, not deep fried, but, but fried. Yaki. Yeah, yaki. Yeah. Um, so we came here once before, and I did a bad job. That's why we're back um, at this uh, chain restaurant. And one thing that went really well in the last time that we went was the gyoza. They are some of the best gyoza that I've had and gyoza goes hand in hand with ramen. So we've been trying a lot of gyozas along with my ramen resolution. Heads up that some people have said they want to see a series about Katie's nudes. And I think that could be pretty fun. Um, if you want to see it, definitely shout in the comments that you want to see that. And if you don't know <laughs> what that is. Just because I want to see people write Katie's nudes a lot. Um, so we have been trying a lot of gyozas as well, and I am very happy to have these gyozas on a plate again. I might even come here just for that. So the ramen doesn't taste like regular tonton that it does. It's not in that vibe. It's got a different thing going on, but it's really good, dude. Like, and if there's no animal stuff in here at all, like it's kind of surprising. And there's no uh, dangerous foods for you. Yeah, there's no lactose. And it's an exciting venture for me. I'm not even in there yet. Yeah, like I, I could get down on It's hot as hell, people. Yeah, I, it is very I, hot, but I didn't have breakfast. dangerous. <laughs> It's so hot. Uh, I didn't have breakfast. I like that these two things are uh, com combating each other. Okay. And, um, let me get in here on one of these gyozas. To um, the weekend. To the weekend. It's yeah. a three day weekend, by the way. It is a three day weekend. We burned half the weekend because of the rain, basically. Like, yeah. half a day. Mm. You know, I'm not going to say that we're, we burned it. I'm going to say that we need to ride with it. That's really good. 
What is in there that's tasting so good? Well, I don't know, like, but it's, it's really fucking good. It's spinach, I think? Spinach, tofu, onions, nira. Nira, which is like a garlicky kind of uh, onion. Yeah, it is out of this it's world. It's one of the best views I've ever had. And this isn't even like very thin. I've been to another vegan restaurant, the um, ramen restaurant that isn't this one. Mm -hmm. Got the gyoza, knocked it out of the park again. Really? Yeah. Maybe people find you to stop putting meat inside the gyoza. Um, so yeah, I think this video is a ride along. A ride along to what just happens on the weekend <laughs> when, when you don't know what's happening. And right now, I'm slowing down. I just want to, I don't want to rush. There's no need to rush. The rain is telling you not to rush. You said, you said yesterday that you want to make a video that's like, people make all these videos about travel, but it's like, and these like drone and shots and glossy, and it's like unrealistic as to what really happens. You right. said you want to make a real. My stomach is wet right now because of the rain. So that's that's the status we're at. This is, this is the weekend. It's three days of just go with the flow. I'm in. And it's time for some dance. <laughs> really yeah, that was in your life for a millisecond, but it was an intense sound. Uh, we have come one hour-ish uh, north of Tokyo, and we're out. In, we're out. We're now in a place called Nasu Shiro Shio uh, Nasu Shio Bara. No, no there totally isn't. Yeah. I got it that time. I've never heard of this place, even though it's got a Shinkansen stop. It has a Shinkansen stop, which is also surprising. Never heard of it. It's past Utsunomiya, so like anything past Utsunomiya is like no man's land, so that's Nasu, why. Nasu Shiobara. Yeah, okay. Nasu right. Shiobara. <laughs> um, there's an area outside of the station. I don't know if there's anything fun to get into in this area. It looks like a normal suburb surrounding a Shinkansen station. Doesn't look like anything special. It does look like it's raining and as we were on the Shinkansen like it's almost as if once we got out of Tokyo it stopped raining and then immediately when we got into this station it started raining. It's very strange but expected considering the weather checks that we did. Um, our hotel is about a 40 minute bus ride from here so we're gonna determine what we're gonna do with the afternoon um, the last bus to our hotel leaves this place at 7 so anything we're gonna do out in this area needs to end before 7 <laughs> if anything at all you know how when you see like pictures of like dogs that people have painted or drawn or whatever and they show the butthole and you're just like, do we really need to go that far? Is that necessary? Did I need to know about this cat's particulars? Um, here, they haven't drawn the butthole of this amazing cow, <laughs> but they have em emblazoned, no, not emblazoned. They have embossed the <laughs> veins of the udders. And this is, I think that's going a, a step too far. Just a step too far. Man, COVID's still going on. Um, over the last week, they extended the state of emergency. And this is a mixed bag of how like places are gonna be affected uh, by it. Like who's gonna take the state of emergency seriously, who isn't, et cetera, et cetera. So we're here in Nasu Shiobara and we're, we want to go to a cafe. We want to go somewhere and sit down and wait for the hour for the bus to come to come and pick us up. And we've come to a little cafe and another little cafe that is just down the street. 
Both of them are saying that they're going to be closed until the state of emergency that has been declared for Tokyo and several other uh, prefectures is finished. And this date just keeps getting extended and extended and extended. So you really don't know what you're going to get. And here, there's really only like one option for having a fika before you get on your bus. And I think we're now submitting to that one option. I'm going to so, see a convenience store. I saw New Days, so we're going to head over to the New Days and see what happens there. But as for something that isn't in the New Days, there really isn't much. We, we got a fika that I think we're going to eat tomorrow because we'll be on the mountain and I think it'll be a nice little mountain treat that can, it's portable. So um, looking for something a little more relaxing, but I don't think we're going to find it. So there was a New Days, which is a convenience store that's run by JR inside of the station, which is this thing that's right down here. And we decided that it was really small, so we were going to come uh, all the way over to the 7-Eleven, which was all of a one minute walk. <laughs> and we're trying to figure out like what exactly we're going to do because we need to get an unknown number of meals because where we're going, there aren't any convenience stores and there are restaurants, but you just saw, we just saw two that were right here that were closed. And we just called another restaurant that's near our hotel and they didn't pick up. <laughs> so I think a lot of things are just Corona closed right now out here, probably because there's no tourism and that's what's the nature of what's happening. In Tokyo, that's not exactly what's going on. Like things are not closed from lack of people doing the coronavirus stuffs it's uh that some of the hours are restricted and things like that but things are still open like you could you could survive so we got to go in here and we're going to be at this hotel for two nights and we're going for a hike tomorrow so we got to figure out like we need at least a dinner tonight and then a breakfast tomorrow and then a lunch but then do we need another dinner or are we going to risk it <laughs> like we don't know how all this is going to play out so maybe we're just going to end up eating peanuts for dinner tomorrow i don't know <laughs> Uh, we have a bag full of crap. Uh, Eric literally said, I'm not paying attention. I'm just throwing things in the basket. And thus, I know that's what's in the basket, it's just, or in the bag. There's just a random blasting of things that hopefully will help us survive until at least Sunday uh, afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. Thank you, 7-Eleven. <laughs> and now we're heading to where the bus is. We won't get our relaxing fika, but uh, we also won't make it to the hotel extremely late. So I think that's the way it is. <laughs> Smells like an onsen town here. There are boiled eggs everywhere. It's just an Easter egg hunt. You lift up anything and I guarantee you there's a boiled egg underneath. It is legitimately stank here. It is stank as fuck. Oh my God. I did not expect that when I got off the bus. And I kind of know we're in onsen country, but I didn't really know that. Like we're going up an active volcano tomorrow. So like, oh, spoiler. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't really even think about it, so. Eric's telling me I can take my mask off because this populous area is uh, yeah, beating up bus bench and me. I think it's a good thing that we hit that uh, convenience store because yeah. this place it feels like everything is shut down just looking out the windows. Uh, just looking out the windows and going through Google Maps, like every restaurant that I saw was at least like a 20 minute walk from the hotel. And on top of that, they all close at five o'clock. Like this is a tourist town and not a tourist to stay town. It's a tourism during the day town. I feel like that was like a really good poem about the death of some of these cities. This is actually a pretty big room. 
Yeah, you are pretty far away. This might be the farthest you've been away from me in a room in a very long time. <laughs> no lie about that. Like, this is definitely bigger Hold than on. our bedroom. Let me zoom in here and get a little bit better on you. <laughs> you miss me that much? Gotta zoom. Um, uh, the room itself, tatami, um, we've got some futons on the floor. To me, that says vacation. Or, or that says I'm at a hotel. I like, I like, if those are rock pillows, I'm gonna be pissed off, but. Um, you get to test it. Oh yeah, that's the sweet stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely like having futons and I like to have the room that has a little table for like you and your friends. Like sometimes I go on trips with my friends and uh, th this is important. I feel like this is the gathering point for the fun that you're going to have. You and I don't really use this very much. Like we, just go and do shit. But it is incredibly rainy again. As we got into the building, it started to come down and it was really loud when we were sitting here about like 10 minutes ago. There's there's nothing to do in this town. It smells like eggs, man. Um, you think all the people in this area just smell like eggs? If they leave, they smell like eggs? <laughs> you can find out. <laughs> you sniff you when we leave. Me? Like, man, it smells like Easter. <laughs> Everybody in Tokyo is gonna be like, mm. Um, yeah, so the room quality wise is kind of subpar. The floor is a little bit squishy and uh, I don't know. Um, to, just to tell you, this is $100 a night, so $50 per person per night. Um, I think it's a bit steep, but we just booked it on Thursday and it doesn't seem like there's much else in this town. Um, everything else was more expensive and maybe it, that means better quality but I don't really need better quality. I need beds. I need the table. We talked about the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely need to watch footage on this nice ass television. <laughs> it's so small. No, but for serious, look how small this TV is. It's like the size of a phone, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of the perspective's playing with you a little bit, but I don't know, what is it? 11 inches, maybe? Something like that? It's like a tablet. Do you want to do Fika first or talk about amenities? What are the, can we do, can we do them at the same time? Well, well, you, you, no, because you have to start Fika and then you can do stuff during okay, Fika. Let's do Fika and then you do, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Fika's first. Eric has his kombini, um, lactose free. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're uh, like marshmallows, but they're uh, apple, fla apple soda flavored. And inside the room, a start to the amenities is that uh, there's a manju. Um, manju is just kind of like a, it's not bread on the outside, it's kind of like a confectionery on the outside with beans on the inside. And we'll, we'll find out the status of the beans once we get inside. But it says that this is um, Mon Chausu. And the mountain that we want to go and hike tomorrow is called Chausu. And it says that it is an original confectionery from here. So that's, that's cool. a score that we didn't end up really getting Fika in the city. The other thing on there is The says, city that was around the yeah. station. <laughs> city. Far stretch for that word. It says it's, uh, it's also called a Hinoyama. I think that's the name of the manju, which means fire mountain. Fire which is pretty mountain. cool because it's yeah. like an active volcano. And yeah, I'm gonna get into my, yeah, gotta open it. my marshmallows. I am not gonna lie, I've had these before. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not my first wrangle with this pony. He's the the beans move on the inside. You can feel it, you have to go like oh. this. Oh yeah, it you wouldn't moves. really hear it, but got it does, it clicks got back got and got forth. Got a loose bean on the <laughs> <Yeah>. inside. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, arriving, making it here. Kind of a, it wasn't a hard day, but it, it was sort of just like, there was a lot of little moments where it's like, the rain just makes things horrible. <laughs> yeah, the rain made things difficult. And in all honesty, this is a very- Can we, can we, can we get this yes. going? <laughs> to, to today? It. Yeah, is to that, just making it here, to, to, arri it here. to arrival. Um, this is very representative of what COVID times is when you're not sitting in like a gigantic city. If you go out to do something, you're really limited on, you can do that activity, but that's about it. Um, a lot of the shops are closed and it really limits your experience. But I think everybody around the world is probably feeling this to some mm -hmm. form 
to some uh, extent or another. Mostly so. the thing that affects us, I think, is that all of the restaurants and stuff are just non-existent. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So, status of the beans is uh, blended. Mm. It's a smooth bean. Mm. Hold that thing up and get our faces out here, because if you eat the whole thing, I can't b-roll it later. I think your face There's is still in the shot. There's another one in there. There you go. Uh, there we go. That's what the inside looks like. That's the beans. <laughs> I'm giving them the beans. Yeah, the other one's in there, but um, we would have to eat it. And you don't like to eat two things. Have this. How many calories? You're very strict about your calories. How many calories is this? 100, gra 100 grams is 361 calories. Yeah. How many grams is that thing? Eric's been learning how to read calories. He'll figure it out because I figured it out. Did you? Mm-hmm. You have to go into the underside to figure out how mm -hmm. many grams it is? One is 33 grams. So then okay. you gotta divide. So, man, it's like 100 grams of calories or something, man. <laughs> wow, you gave, you gave up and, and you were really close. It's somewhere Here around 100, uh, the low 100s. I have for one this. of these guys. Yeah. You want one? Ah. So yeah. Not what I expected. I don't know. The texture is like unique. I don't know. It's not a marshmallow, it's not a gummy, it's somewhere in between. Oh, that's kind of hard. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good though. Mm. I agree. Yeah, I punched back like a whole bag of these things a couple days ago because I had no self control. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, yeah. to the amenities. <laughs> now, we have dropped $200 on this place uh, for two nights. They don't provide towels. <laughs> that's kind of unusual. Thing. Now, they will, they will give you this towel. This is not beneficial. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've dried off with these in the past. Yeah, me too. It's, it's become a thing that you've needed to do. But they wanted to put things that you might need in a tray, okay? I don't know I where this is I think they've overestimated. <laughs> the only thing they put in here was this pathetic towel, like... There were two of them, right? What else was going in this tray? What if there was like 30 people sleeping in this room? Then you'd have 30 towels, you need a big tray. I think you can only put like three people in this room. <laughs> Like, that's all you're allowed to put in. I wonder if they used to put other amenities in this box. Now, the mystery amenity. She said nothing about this. She carried it from downstairs up here. She yeah. put it on the table. She didn't say anything about it. It has nothing to do with the room. It looks like a present. So we're gonna have a, a guess a on what we think this is you don't have an apple for dinner yeah i i gave up on having uh uh the perfect meal situation this isn't giving away any secrets do you know what's in here no this is this is abnormal this is really abnormal um you gotta guess what you think it is first eric i don't know don't look close your what eyes if you don't want to know i'm gonna know what are you giving us i'm gonna get it out and show everybody I mean, you can guess. Don't look. It's right in front of your face. Um, <laughs> my guesses would Hold be on. like a notebook okay. or a photo frame or um, Hold on. Yeah, um, hold on. It's definitely, it's not soft, so don't, I don't think... Don't open, don't open your eyes, though. Okay. Um, can I ask questions? Ooh, oh gosh, this could be fun. Hold on a second. Keep your eyes shut, yeah, you're mm -hmm, fine. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> you Is going, it a sticker book? What are your, what are your guesses? <laughs> Hold on a second here. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this camera working. <laughs> I'm really confused. <laughs> All right. What are your final guesses? This I think this segment has gone on long enough. <laughs> Well, I was going to start playing 20 questions, but now I have a sticker on my head. Can I take it off? No, that's important. <laughs> I don't think that's true. 
I gotta put that on Instagram. <laughs> Did, did this come from it? Yeah, 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 that's a part of the package here. Ah, uh, but that could just be a sticker on the outside, not that it is a sticker book. Um, can I ask questions, please? It'll be fun. Oh, wait, man, I didn't even need to go as far as I went. Wow. I don't even know what Do we get to means. keep this? Oh, that's a very interesting, exciting... <laughs> I think so. I don't see why it, someone would take it back. Not that I know what it is. Oh. Can I ask questions yet? Oh, look at this. This is wonderful. Is okay, it for just... adults or children? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, it's, uh, hold on, we have to ask yes or no questions. Um, we, we're not doing this for 20 minutes. Come on, this is this video it's is... 20 questions. This is already minutes. 9 minutes. They're yes or no questions. <laughs> is it for adults? Ooh, I can't answer that question. I'll tell you what it's for. Without a doubt, I can tell you it's for dorks. Wow. Yeah. For dorks? Yes. <laughs> I still think it's like stationary. It's for dorks. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm okay, gonna just roll, roll forward, yep. You put it back in the box? Yeah, I figured you'd want to open it. <laughs> 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 what is it? Okay, so it says the hotel. Wow. <laughs> and it's 2022, so I'm, it's not even this. Oh, wow. Girlfriend. It's for dorks. Girlfriend. We're, uh, we're rocking into 2023. 2023. <laughs> it's got a pen. And it's got a pen. Oh, yeah. I love this. Definitely. How did I get the pen out? You telling me this place is only two hundred dollars? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the verb poodle to poodle? It's a verb. Yeah. No. British people use it for like just walking around. We're gonna poodle around town right now. At least I think it is. I remember somebody telling me that word. So we're gonna poodle around and uh, right now standing in front of the hotel. Hmm? You look like a Sith Lord right now or something. <laughs> I don't think that you're as scared of me as you should be then. <laughs> okay. Where okay. are we poodling? We're poodling over here. Inside of the hotel. Which, there is, is, which is here. Right there. <laughs> um, there is no shower or bathing facility. There's a toilet, but there's no bathing facility. What you have to do is come over here. Yeah, we're, we're outside. You want to take a shower? <laughs> we're outside. This is where we'll be bathing tonight. This place is two hundred dollars. <laughs> this is kind of insane. I, I don't I don't know. I think I've been bamboozled. <laughs> um, yeah, and I haven't even seen what's going on inside of there yet. <laughs> Interestingly enough, there are cars that are just coming up here and parking and people are taking showers and then they're, they're leaving. People are coming here as residents. These aren't tourists. These are people that live in the area. And there is an onsen inside. Like it's a very small room, but there I is a- I smell that onsen. <laughs> there is a bath inside there that people wouldn't have at home. So, you know, they might be coming for relaxation. I'm assuming that most of them have showers in their homes. I don't think yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. community shower. <laughs> I think it's just that it's a nice little situation. It seemed like some older people and stuff and that this might be their their gig. They've been like living that life their whole life. And that's what they do for like a nice rainy day. It kind of makes sense. Who's that? The horns are an afterthought. Someone added this to this stone structure. Like this is concrete. So somebody came and added some deviousness to this yeah, it's, statue. It's, it's, it's kinda, really bizarre. It's a bit creepy the way that those are just added on there. <laughs> That's not the only creepy part. Like, this looks like it used to be a driveway down to something or like a path down to something and that has ended. And then the horns are growing. It makes me feel like something is going to happen. We are getting some friends. I gotta put my mask back on. <laughs>
we were just walking down the street, we made a friend, and uh, then we walked a little bit further, and now we're gonna go down here. This seems legit, right? This is okay. <laughs> yeah? I hear rushing water down there. We've read a sign that says there's a big rock. Okay. Are we supposed to be here? <laughs> it's really dark. There's a ping pong table. <laughs> what is going on? This is weird, dude. When I was in middle school, there was a path behind the neighborhood that people like kind of set up their own little forts and stuff and they'd take like lawn chairs and create their own little area. That's what this feels like. Um, it feels a little more upscale than that for sure. Like there's a giant toady behind me and, but something about this just feels like very young people hanging out away from their families. Yeah, and some kids are getting nobody really knows about it. Something nefarious is happening here. Okay, so I think we can keep going. Not very far. So there's just a river, and that's about it. This is probably the most Japanese I've had an environment feel in a while. Did you get that splash? Right in my eye. It hit my Sith bill and then hit me in the eye. Dang. All right, so this sign, this means like murder or to kill. This means life and this means rock. So that's kind of spooky. This is right on spooky, walking up into this cloud towards a death rock. <laughs> it reminds me of several adventures we've been on in the past. Oh, creepy. Yeah. Are they little Buddhas? Yeah, they're for the they're for the spirits of dead children. Like seriously. They go really far over there. All right. Move along. This rock, Katie. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Katie. <laughs> I read about this rock on that sign back there. Uh -huh. It says that anybody that goes near it is brought death. Like seriously, that's what the sign says. But they built a path, so it's probably fine. Uh -oh. We just read the story behind the stone, and it turns out that there was a nine-tailed fox running amok, committing crimes over in China and India. It decided one day, 800 years ago, to come to Japan. Now, it committed these crimes because it transformed itself into a beautiful woman. No one knew that it was this nine-tailed fox doing evil deeds within the woman. But a fortune teller here in Japan figured out what was going on. And when the fox found out that that was the situation, the fox immediately ran to Nasu, which is where we are now. The fortune teller went to, I guess, the emperor at that time and asked, to take down the fox, destroy the fox with 80,000 troops. So they came here and they defeated the fox. Once the fox was defeated, it immediately turned into a stone. And it has been said that anyone that comes into contact with the stone is taken down by it because it's poisonous. So like the way you read that is that you gotta touch the rock to die, right? Cause we got kind of close. What do they mean by break? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, it seems into contact with, like that is the phrase they used in English. So I'm assuming it's a touch situation mm. and they've put up a barrier. So that seems like a smart move. Yeah, hopefully yeah. we'll be okay. Mm. This is right right on spooky though. Yeah, like, it's great. It's, it's really, this is wonderful. really cool. I never, I never thought, like we were sitting in the hotel room and I was like, okay, we've got about 20 more minutes of, uh, sunlight, of yeah. sunlight. And I never would have thought that we would have played ping pong and almost come to our terms with our death <laughs> in, in, in 20, it's probably been 30 minutes now that the sun is definitely going down and we are losing light hardcore yeah. um yeah i never would have thought that that half an hour was going to turn into that <laughs> i'd like to i'd like to double down on though i'm glad we hit that 7-eleven because there has been no food no nothing, and I've been nothing. At, like it, it's just little onsen huts that yep. look considerably better than the one we'll be using later tonight <laughs> 
We found the nine-tailed fox. Everyone, don't touch him. That could be tricky if you're not paying attention. I'm pretty, I saw one before and I think I touched it. The next couple of days is going to be a little bit of a gamble. Good thing we're not hiking on above a volcano. Yeah, true. <laughs> Dude, what even was the last couple of hours? It's been a exhaustive last couple of hours to be completely real with everybody. Um, so, so we went on our nice little trek throughout the town. We ended up at the Death Rock and then we came back and we were like, okay, we'll take some showers and then we'll eat dinner. And we had already explained that we realized that the shower area was not in the hotel. It was like right next door. Totally fine. This is something that's understood. And it was understood to us that it was a bathing area, like a bath. It didn't specifically say shower, but this isn't something that's You're usually... You're ruining the whole story! This isn't something that's usually got a better way to go about yeah, it. Yeah, I've okay. got a way better way to go about it. Wow! <laughs> okay. So I came upstairs, got my stuff together, and went down to the bath. I walk in, and there is an area with a bunch of cubbies. There's like 40 cubbies. This is got to be like is, 40 cubbies. This is normal stuff for an onsen. Normal stuff. So I was like, so, all so right, so many I, cubbies, what was, great. What I was trying to say, though, is that it's like an onsen-style clean-yourself situation. That's, that's what we're understanding this to be. And the way a regular onsen works is you go in, you take a sh little shower, and you're in front of people and stuff, but whatever, and then you get into a hot bath and relax. And then you get out and maybe rinse yourself off one more time just for the hell of it. And then you're on with your day. And that's usually how the system functions. We've been here 10 years. That's the only system I've ever seen. You have to clean yourself before you get into the onsen. Yes. So I noticed that there wasn't anyone in there. So I was like, okay, let me take a look. And I went over and I looked at the pool. And the pool looks interesting that that's in that room. Yeah, it's cool. But looking. then I looked around and I was like, there's no shower. So I walked into the room, assuming that once I passed through the glass, which I was already looking through, that something would come to me. The only thing that's in there is a hose. One hose, and... and the hose feels like it is intentioned to clean the room. Yes, it's more of a utility hose mm -hmm. than a clean yourself hose. Yep. So I stood in that room for a good five minutes trying to like suss out what even made this possible <laughs> um so then i just i came back upstairs i was like i don't understand and i just told eric i really don't understand then we sat here we looked at the hotel's like reviews and people are like you can't bathe yourself here i okay i know that i lowball like almost everywhere that we go <laughs> And I will be honest, like, I didn't feel like I was lowballing it here. And on top of that, after we had the $20 a night terribleness that we had on our last trip, um, I looked up the reviews, just, I looked up the score. Yeah. I didn't look to read it, and of out of uh, four points, or uh, out of five, this got a 4.6. Yeah. And on like on Google reviews and stuff, they're all really good. And people talk about how nice the lady here is. And she and is, she she's is a, super she's nice. really super, super nice. And the room is... She dried me off with a towel when I came in. She personally <laughs> like, dried me... Katie was wearing me... a raincoat. Let's back up. We're talking about baths. And now we're talking... Yeah. She was wearing a raincoat that was wet. And she came out with a towel and like wiped off the I, I was I was drying off the front. And she was like, turn around. I'll get the back. And I was like, <laughs> okay. We're doing this. So like it, it, people, she's super, super nice. She's really, really nice, and I, in all honesty, this place is immensely clean. Yeah, it's I, every fine. every surface my foot touches, I feel is cleaner than my foot. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I back, come back, back to the shower. Back, to the, back, back to, the to the shower. shower. Um, Eric and I are just like, okay, so we've got to go and talk to the lady. We have to go and ask her. Like, we're like, okay, there's no showers down there. How do you clean yourself before you get in the public bath? Like the golden rule in Japan yes. is clean yourself extensively and, and, and then get in the public bath. And here there's no way to, there's a, there's a hose. And, and the you're hose, so close. You're so close yeah. to the pool. There's no way that your yeah. stuff isn't. Like, yeah. It's like, it's like a golden rule. Normally there's a good amount of space between the two areas, the onsen yeah. and the showering area. The other aspect of this is there's signs all over the walls that explain a whole bunch of different things. And one of the things that it's saying is you're not allowed to use body soap. Yeah. No body wash allowed, but shampoo is allowed, oddly enough. Mm. So anyways, we go and we talk to the lady, 
and I'm explaining to her, I'm like, okay, so like the, 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 the bathhouse thing that's next to us doesn't have a shower. How do you clean your body before you get in? And she was just, she basically said, you can just get in. Like, she's like, it's okay to just get in. But I'm like, well, how do you clean your body? And she was like, I was like, if you want to use like a shower or something. She was like, oh, there's this other place. Go there. And I was like, the what? And she, she's seen the name of it. And I'm like, I don't know the name of anything in this town. I don't even know the name of the hotel that I'm in. And then she showed us a map, which was very <laughs> not clear. Yeah, it was really confusing So in, in the end, she in was end. like, I got to walk these people down there. So she did. And she didn't seem upset about it or anything. No, no, no. She no, was no, like, no. okay, I'll oh, show you. I'll show you. Know. And so she, she walks us down the street to a place and you got to pay 500 yen. And that's a more traditional onsen system where there's a shower and then you get in and then you can rinse off afterwards. And, like and you, it was also very nice. Yeah. I, I really liked that place. So we go over there and she shows it. So okay, great. And then we come back and we get our stuff so we can do the bathing situation because they don't have any shampoo or body soap or conditioner or any of that stuff in there. Um, so you've got to bring your own. So we come back and we only have one set of that, which is kind of annoying, but we don't, we didn't anticipate this whole problem. So we so, did that. So like we, we pay to get in and I note uh, down. You gotta, you gotta pay 500 yen to, to, to bathe there. Like this so, is so associated with our we're place. We're paying $50 per person per night here yeah. just to be here and sleep here. And, and we do have access to the non-shower bathing area. <laughs> Where you can't use we, soap. We do have access to the large bath that you can't clean yourself in. <laughs> um, and then you got to walk down the street just a little bit. It's really not that far to a place where you can actually take a shower, which also has an onsen. Um, and as we're walking in, I note on a thing that's like, no tattoos. So we enter uncomfortable zone yeah. because normally Eric would just go, okay, we have to leave. I'm, I'm not, I'm not willing to do this. I'm not willing to put other people in an uncomfortable situation where they have to know that I'm breaking the rules. And if you're not familiar with Japanese like tattoo culture or whatever, they see tattoos as like a sign of gangsters, like Yakuza. So the Yakuza, historically, the story goes, would have meetings and stuff in onsens, and the onsens didn't want to be associated with that culture, so they said no tattoos. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, even in Japan, it's not nearly as prevalent as it is other places, but like young people just have tattoos. Like people in our generation just have tattoos. They're not, they're not gangsters. And like clearly I'm not in the Yakuza, but there's signs only in the men's room, by the way. Yeah, there and were really, everywhere. And, I, and they're it, in, it, it's in. It may be that I wasn't paying so much attention or whatever, but I didn't really see anything along those lines. On the men's lines. door, they're there. There's uh, there's a there's a note in English where you put your money down in the little tray when you pay that says no tattoos. Mm -hmm. So the reason that I was like, screw it, I'm going to try and I'm just going to do this is because one, there's no place else to bathe, and I think it's ridiculous, and two, because the place was closing at eight o'clock and it was seven fifty five. And I yeah. was just like, okay, it might be empty. I'll go in there. I'll take a quick shower. Nobody will even know, and I'll leave. So um, I told the lady when we were paying, I was like, we're just taking a shower. It'll be quick because we I knew we were getting there late. And she was like, oh, it's okay, no problem. And I was like, that was pretty casual. Like, <laughs> so we then go to take a sh take a thing. We see the no tattoo signs even more. You go in because we only take have a thing. What take thing? a take a bath, take a shower. Oh, take a bath. Take a shower. So you go in to take a sh take a shower because we only have one set of soap. Keep mm -hmm. this in mind, there are those little bottles. So I went in there and I, I did my shower. best to do it as quickly as possible, which is so anti onsen. Yeah. It's so anti onsen. So then she, while I, I go in to check out what the situation is, and there's three dudes inside of mine when I go in. And I'm like, man. And I look inside to see if I can, because my this arm has got tattoos on it, right? And um, I was like, maybe if I can find a corner where my, this side of my body would be in, uh, pointing to the corner, nah, it'll be no problem. They won't notice or whatever. But uh, it, it was not how a room was shaped. Mm. Like that side of my body would be pointed out to everybody. And I'm just like, dude. And I looked at them and they're these old dudes. And maybe they'll care and maybe they won't. Who the hell knows? Yeah. So as she's in there, more and more people keep coming in. And by the time you're finished with your shower, there's probably at least 10 people in the onsen on my side. So it's packed. And I'm just like, this isn't going to happen. I, don't wanna, I just don't want to get into a situation when I'm naked. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, what I mean? What a, so, anyways, I get kind of, I'm pissed off at this point, like, at the whole situation. And I kind of, like, not at anybody except Katie. I lose my fuse. I, like, I lose, I lose my temper yeah. a little bit. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. 
Um, because like I never, I, what, what, I just, you can't bathe yourself. Why is that not written? There's on no the shower s- in this, guys. There's no, there's place to no bathe. shower. Yeah. So, anyways, how is that possible? I don't, I don't know because you're supposed to pay 500 yen to go up the street, but on their website and stuff, it says there's a bath. I think they're right, but there's usually I've never in my life seen this, and this is just old school, I guess. So, anyways, then I go to. Um, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to go into the little room that we have access to that doesn't have any signs. Like, there's no no tattoo oh, signs, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it's empty at this point. So I go in there, and I use the hose, and I use a little bucket, which is, okay, I can deal with this. The water that is coming into the bucket, not out of the hose, is freaking hot. It's really hot. So I'm filling the bucket halfway with that water, halfway with frozen cold cold, cold hose, hose water. And I'm using this to like bathe myself. And I just took a little bit of shampoo in there with myself and shampooed up my dirty bits. You know what I mean? Mm. And I mean, I didn't break the rules technically. You know what I mean? And maybe they don't want body soap because body soap goes into the system and it's dirtier or something, harder to break down. Who the hell knows? I don't know what the rule is, but I used as little soap as possible to clean myself. And then I got in the hot ass water and I actually feel pretty nice right now. <laughs> feel my skin. I don't know if you can feel it. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it feels really nice. And it was really, really nice in there. And the place smells like beautiful wood. wood. Oh, it's yeah. Super, when it's I first went nice. in there and I put my, like, uh, the, the, whole, the whole place is made out of wood. And in the cubby room, I put my foot onto the wood and I was like, okay, this feels really yeah. nice. There's so many steps in an onsen situation that can make you kind of throw up in your mouth. But this was, yeah, yeah, like dirty little spots and stuff. This was, it was really, really nice. Um, if there had just been showers. If there had just been It would have been ideal. Shower. What the fuck? Um, I'm going to eat. And yeah. we got our dinner from 7-Eleven. I'm eating butter curry, or butter chicken curry. But I thought this was kind of cute. She's got these uh, mini naan. <laughs> so she's got these like little teeny tiny naan. I also have mini scissors. Where did you get those? I bought them. Like for this situation? No, not for this oh. situation. Um, I just have a roll of sushi that is um, karage mayo. So it's like fried chicken and mayonnaise. And we realized that oh, we have one set of um, we have one set of chopsticks. We forgot to get some. Today's kind of been uh, unglued a little bit. Yeah, I would so. definitely say that today has uh, really um, not exceeded my expectations. Mm. It has like really fallen pretty flat. This, we're, we're having we're having a real ride along, real talk situation about this. Um, yeah, I. I, I I'm, I'm trying to think like what happened this this morning felt disheveled to me. Then it was raining immensely. Um, lunch was good. Lunch was a great moment. Um, getting <sighs> onto the Shinkansen, also a great moment. Um, go ahead and... This, my friends, is wine in a bag. <laughs> and it has like a screw top. So I hope that this is going to make the evening a little better. Um... Yeah. I don't think today has been, like, miserable. I'm not done yet. Then we arrive at the <laughs> station, and I, then Fika doesn't work out, and then we get to the 7-Eleven, and I feel like I'm, I'm rushing to get everything done to get on a bus so I don't have to wait another hour. Um, and then we get here, and th- this was fine. Like, this room is fine. I think I was a little disappointed with the quality of what was happening. And then the the bath was next door, and I kind of knew that was a thing, but it just kind of seemed like a hassle. And then we went and we had fun um, out going to the Death Rock. <laughs> that was great. That was actually, it, that was the most exceptional part of the day. It was, like, all the weird shit we found in, like, 30 minutes. And then the whole bath situation. Ho oh, dang. And now I'm drinking wine out of a sippy bag. <laughs> oh my god. They're intense. Okay. That had me crying. This is um, wasabi beef potato chips. And it says they are super, it says they are super spicy and uh, to be careful. And if you see this pig, you see how much trouble this pig is having? Like, that's the situation. That's my world right now. They are incredibly spicy. Like, that wasabi type of spicy. 
Um, yeah. So anyway, that's been our day, and mm. you saw most of it, which is kind of fun. And um, I actually, smell good. I actually, <laughs> let me sniff your knot. Are you supposed to microwave this or something? No, it doesn't. It say just anything no, just dude. Microwave. It smells like Legos. <laughs> it has a smell that I know the smell. <laughs> yeah, Legos. You built like a little man in a castle. I really like the little bowl that I've made. This is time for dipping. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to eat and go to bed. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to hike. And then hopefully, I'm going to be able to bathe. Those are my hopes. Mm. I think we can make all Keeping this... it low ball. <laughs> <laughs> a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I might spend some more time in that on send tomorrow, but I was hungry. Well, now I know how the systems work. So the question I have for you is tomorrow, are you going to pay 500 yen to go to that other place yeah. to shower? Or are you going to do what I did with the bucket? I'm not doing that hose. That's too awkward. It's too awkward. Man, I was standing up. I was running that hose down my butt crack and it was ice cold. Let me tell you what. Because it's hard to pour. You just got to <laughs> hope no one's in there with you. I don't... Uh, in the... Mm. <laughs> 500 yen. Yeah, it was a little bit exposing. But I just feel like it was really old school. Like, I feel like we traveled back in time going into that situation. Was there someone in there with you? No, no, I was alone. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have had that guy hit me with the hose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From across Farva the room. Style. Farva style. Yeah. What does he say? <laughs> the lice hate the sugar. No, no, no. Farva says it, it's delicious or something like that, right? Doesn't something it? Something like that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, signing off. I have finished the edit of the first video where we went to Nasu and Tochigi. And um, I'm having dinner. <laughs> yeah, you're, well, no, kinda. don't chill my dinner. What? No, no, no. Let's no, give no. a quick <laughs> review. She's got lettuce and then those little goldfish, those little like cracker things. And I don't even know what else went in this bowl. I just looked at what needs to be finished and things that you won't eat, and I eat them. So it's, what's the white stuff? What did you put in there? It's with just it? yogurt, man. Oh my god! It's just yogurt and goldfish. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> so the Tojiki video, this is, we didn't do this on purpose, but it is kind of getting towards Halloween time, and this is one of the spookiest videos we've made, because that death rock and everything happened, mm. remember that? So that was kind of like a cool little coincidence that that's working out now, and I think this will po be posted. The death rock was not the scariest thing. Going down in that little, like, um, Oh, the ping pong room? The ping pong room, that <laughs> was weird. And I hit my head, and I almost electrocuted myself. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I just want to do the end card stuff where we um, remind people that the way that these videos all get made is through support at Patreon. So if you want to help us make more videos like this, going over to Patreon and checking that out is the best way to do it. And you can get some perks and we send out some postcards and we give people some behind the scenes chit chat and uh, you get f some pictures and stuff that, uh, are, that are taken on our trips and some early access. I think that's all the, the perks, basically. I wow. think I went through the list. And um, we've I also... I postcards. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing I think about. <laughs> and uh, the other things that we've got is we've got a bunch of social media stuff. All that is linked down below. The Instagrams and the Twitter. And um, we've got a Discord channel you can come hang out with us on. And uh, did I? I, mean, I feel like I'm missing things. Oh, I'm subscribe! Not paying attention. I'm eating goldfish. <laughs> subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, I think that covers everything. I think it does. Oh, I got a. I I, I, I play video. Like, I played Metroid Dread game so tits on um, Twitch. Twitch. That's been fun too. So that's yeah, all linked below. Been good. Yeah, it's really fun. Even though I'm not playing it, I still enjoy watching mm. it. Yeah, good game. Good mm -hmm. game. Let's just go ahead and like show out some uh, Nintendo. Like we're sh we're shells for Nintendo, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're showing the we're supported. Like this is must be. What are you using shelling for? What shill. Is sh we're we're shills. When you when you when you when you the sell out, shill. you're like shilling, right? Isn't that the right verb? She was asking in this video about um, what was the verb that you use a weird verb in this one, ponying or something. Oh, poodling. <laughs> poodling. I'm gonna poodle poodle down to the thing. Mm. We needed to do some poodling. Like right, <laughs> right now, I don't have enough poodle in my life. I can All tell right. you that. All right, we can go poodle. I'm up. I'm up. Good. There's a white card for the auto balance, white balance, because it's some good color in here. Are you good at this? Yeah. She's really gentle. Be real. 
really gentle. I know, I'm bad at this. See? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Do I bounce and then hit?